Hi, I'm Angie and today we're making another filling for our chocolate bonbons and we are going to make an Oreo inspired filling. And so this one is also um, a recipe where we end up with our chocolate bonbons but we also have some cookies in the end because um, it is really really hard um, yeah, to make like a tiny tiny amount for only one chocolate mold. So we will end up with both. Now let's take a quick look at ingredients of Oreos. Um, you can see that they're using a canola oil. I want to replace it with a coconut oil. Um, I'm pretty sure you can also use butter for it if you prefer that. And you can also see that they're using high fructose corn syrup. Um, I will replace it with regular cane sugar. And if I check out the recipe, I believe that the filling, like the white creamy stuff in the middle between the cookies, is actually only oil and sugar. I believe there's pretty much nothing else in there. Um, so I think this is going to be a pretty easy recipe. Um, but as in most of my videos, I have never tried it out before. So I'd say, um, yeah, let's just give it a try. And here we go. Let's make our cookie dough. I have preheated the oven to um, 180 degrees Celsius. And here I have 60 grams of coconut oil. You can also replace it with butter and 50 grams of sugar. And now we're beating this until um, everything is nice and combined for like one, two minutes. And now I'm adding 50 grams of all-purpose flour, 30 grams of cacao powder, and about a fourth of a, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a pinch of salt to the mix. And I like to start out with, um, with a spatula, because otherwise your flour will be just poof. Um, and you have the whole mess in your kitchen. So I like to start um, just mixing it under with a spatula. Okay, so this is now nice and crumbly. And now we're adding two or three tablespoons of water. Okay, now I'm taking one piece of parchment paper and I um, cut it into half. And I have formed my dough into a little ball and place it between my parchment paper. And now we are rolling it out. I think this is looking good. I don't have a really good <laughs> cookie cutter for this. So I'm just going to use a glass. And now I'm transferring these over to a baking sheet. Here we are. Um, so I have um, 28 cookies and I will baking this for like 10 to 12 minutes, but keep an eye on it because every oven is a little bit different. Um, yeah, let's bake them. Here we go, let's move on to the filling. So here I have 40 grams of coconut oil and 60 grams of powdered sugar. And the powdered sugar is important here because we don't want this to be grainy. Um, yeah, and we just mix it together. So this does not look like anything that is pipeable, so I will add 20 grams of coconut oil and then mix it again. And here we go. So this is the one-to-one -one ratio and I think it's looking pretty good. Um, yeah, now we'll just wait until our cookies have baked and then we can move forward. And here is a mold I have prepared. Um, and over here is my filling and I popped it into the microwave for like 15 seconds and so now it's really um, uh, runny and I can pipe it in but it will firm up later. This is the mold I have. Um, not super happy with the design I've chosen but um, it's all about the filling so that today so it doesn't really matter. What would really be nice as well is um, if you would add a little bit of lime or lemon zest or lemon juice um, to your filling. I think it would make a really good combination. Um, but I want to stick to the Oreo theme today. So yeah, I'll just keep it like that. But I think it could be really good. And I guess I'm just filling it up 
I don't know how much. I'm just doing like one third of the mold. That's it. Obviously, my cookies are too large. So I guess I'm just like every time you might have seen me <laughs> adding cookies to my to my bonbons, I'm just making them work. So I need maybe half a cookie for one of my bonbons. And that's it. So I let this set um, at room temperature now um, and will temper my chocolate and then I'm excited to see how they turn out. Let's see how they look like. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, let's cut one open. Not too bad. Not too bad. I give this one here a try now. They really taste like Oreos. This is nuts. Like you really have a, this crunchy cookie base and then this filling and then you have the chocolate shells. I think they're amazing. Those are really, really fun. And they really taste like Oreos. So if you like Oreos, give them a go. As always, thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, if you have questions, leave them down below. Don't ask me anything about baking. I don't know nothing about baking, so don't ask me about baking. But anything else, leave them down below. Send me a DM on Instagram at chocolatefeel. Um, you can find tools, equipment in the list down below as well. And that's all. Have a good one. Bye.